All right, I have the distinct pleasure of introducing two speakers for the next talk. Uh, Dr. Lachlan Tommaso is a minimally invasive gynecologic surgeon and associate professor at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. She is the division chair of gynecology and the director of this course. Uh, her primary research interest is to understand uh, treatment strategies for uterine fibroids. Uh, Dr. Sarah Cohen, with her, is a minimally invasive gynecologic surgeon and assistant professor at Mayo Clinic in Rochester. Her primary clinical interest is treatment of fibroids, and she is involved in research regarding tissue extraction techniques. Please welcome both Dr. Lachlan Tommaso and Dr. Cohen. Thank you. So, um, as Chris mentioned, I am the GYN division chair, and I just hired Sarah, and I brought her over because she is an expert in laparoscopic myomectomy, among other um, expertise. I am currently the head of the Fibroid Center, but I'm actually turning those reins over to um, Dr. Cohen. And so today, what we're going to present is just two options for treating fibroids. Um, just disclosure-wise, I have a research grant from Bayer Pharmaceuticals, and I also write for UpToDate for fibroid articles. The reason that this talk came about is, for those of you here last year, I gave a talk on why we should avoid hysterectomy in young women and what are the alternatives. And I just sort of breezed past some of the fibroid alternatives and afterwards had lots of um, questions about specifically the laparoscopic radiofrequency ablation. And so we just picked these two techniques to present today and we wanted to compare and contrast laparoscopic procedures as a lot of you probably do some laparoscopic myomectomy. Um, there's, it's less common to have laparoscopic radiofrequency ablation available, but we're also just going to touch on mul multiple other options today um, very briefly. So our goals are to kind of how do you select patients and then how do you counsel the patients on the risks and benefits. All right, so as we know, there are a lot of different options for fibroid treatments today, whether it be newer generation hormonal modulation, antifibrinolytic agents, um, as we see here with the focused ultrasound treatment, uterine fibroid embolization, and there are two different options available that are currently FDA approved for radiofrequency ablation, either laparoscopic that we'll be highlighting today, or a transcervical modality. And just a shameless plug, on the Wednesday hands-on course, we're going to be presenting how to treat fibroids um, hysteroscopically as well as with radiofrequency ablation, and both techniques will be available. So. Um, one thing I always think about when I think about all these different options patients have, you know, they ask you, well, what would you do or what, what should I do? And I try to avoid this. If you're a hammer, everything looks like a nail. So I'm a surgeon, so of course you should get a myomectomy done. Um, but really it depends on the patient's age, how close they are to menopause, their fertility goals, their particular symptoms, and also 